What's going on everyone? Hey, just finished up my morning workout. As you can see, I'm a little pumped up. Ugh. Anyway, uh, I start my workout with a kettlebell warm up for my shoulder that a good buddy of mine, strong first master instructor Zara Horton showed me. And I thought, man, this is so simple. It's awesome. I showed this to one of our exercise therapists slash traction techs at the clinic who works out, has done a lot of bodybuilding. And he's like, man, this is like one of the best warm-up exercises for my shoulder my shoulder feels so engaged so i wanted to show this to you but first off before i show you if you've been following our stuff for some time and you're wondering how this fits in anywhere in chiropractic this is targeted for chiropractors i'm a chiropractor and in my practice we we actually use kettlebells to transition patients from injury rehab to strength and then eventually power to that. actually incorporate functional movement patterns not just joint isolation stuff so I wrote a book called Move All Secrets, chapter eight. We actually cover this, I know you're seeing this backwards on, on Facebook Live Land, but this is Czar, chapter eight, functional fitness. And just real quick, I'll just read you just the very beginning of this, and then I wanna show you this, this awesome warm up that's good for any upper body stuff. So you can grab this book for free, by the way, moveawayuniversity.com slash books. If you haven't grabbed it yet, go on there, you cover shipping, we'll, we'll send this book out. We still have a big box of these that I'm sending out for free. So I, you'll see these Facebook lives that I'm doing because we, we need to get these in the hands of chiropractors all over the place. So it says, in the last chapter, we talked about experts within the movement arena. In this chapter, we're gonna talk about functional fitness. Let's talk about this concept. Functional fitness is different than dysfunctional fitness. Okay, what's that mean? Functional fitness means that you're doing something that reinforces healthy movement patterns. For example, there's a difference between a corrective exercise and a functional exercise. We go into, into that in a lot of detail in our education portal and inside of the implementation section of Movable University, shameless plug, uh, our doctor training program. I'll summarize it here. Let's say your problem is you can't move your shoulder properly. You're gonna carry out interventions to regain normal shoulder range of motion and shoulder stability. You may include some isolated corrective exercises that don't just aim to increase range of motion, but focus on rebuilding a movement pattern. That pattern encompasses the coordinated movement between your scapula and your glenohumeral joint. Those are corrective exercises for, or, or activation exercises, scapular stabilization exercises, shoulder packing, for example. To build on those, on those gains, you wanna to evolve to strength, power, and fitness, what we call functional fitness. Anyway, and I go on into it. So we talk about how this model works. It gives you the language of how to explain this to a patient. Patients understand it, they absolutely love it. I mean, it's, it's not something that people have to be convinced that they should be moving and exercising, and that fitness and strength is essential for overall health. Your patients in your chiropractic practice probably already understand that. They probably already know that. Even if they're not fit and they don't work out at all, they want to, and you could be a catalyst into getting them into there. Doesn't mean you have to be a personal trainer or, or have a personal trainer set up in your, in your clinic, but your language and your transition and how chiropractic fits in the model of the segment posture movement concept, which is chapter six, we explain all this. So grab the book, it's 18 chapters. Quick read, I'm gonna show you this warm up. So, I just grab a light kettlebell, so 16 kilograms, 35 pounds. This is basically the warm up, okay? So you first have to be able to get this into the rack position, all right? So if you don't know how to do like a kettlebell clean, you know, you come here, here, if you can't do a kettlebell clean, you can do a cheat clean. So you can just grab this off the floor like a deadlift, front hand over, under, and like this, okay? Anyway, let's not cover that part. That's a whole other Facebook Live. So wrist is neutral, you're here, and this is a warm up for upper body. Really, it's getting the shoulder engaged, and you're just gonna press overhead, full lock out of the elbow, come back down. As you come back down, you're pulling the arm back down like you're doing a pull down, like a cable pull down. So you're not just, you're not just here and then ooh, dropping it. Okay, so you're, there's a breathing match. So as you come out, forces you to engage. Breathe in through my nose, reset my hand periodically, make sure I get good, good feedback from my hand to here, to my shoulder. And then this is where the magic happens. Then you start to, I'm gonna point my toes this way, almost like I'm gonna do a hip hinge on my right, my right side. I know it's flipped in Facebook Live land, but I'm gonna press up and I'm gonna tilt my body a little bit. So here, okay? I'm gonna come back down. And then you can go 
here, and then watch this. Stand up, and it's a it's a almost a screwing mechanism in the shoulder. You stabilize on all these planes while the arm's vertical. It doesn't look like much, but it's actually a huge activation. I'm actually getting really tired of doing this. I need to grab a lighter kettlebell. And then so from here it's so it's it's timed. I'm hip hinging, my spine is neutral. Okay? And then you can go deeper into that single hinge. So from here. Okay, so I'm in a single hinge. All right, so anyway, it's actually a warm up where you start press, press, side, side. That's coming through the hip. It's not, it's not lumbar or thoracic lateral flexion, it's through the hip. Spine stays tall, neutral, and it's coming through the hip, really. That's how it should be, like this. Boom, boom, and then you transition. This is actually a warm up for a bent press, but I like this for all upper body stuff. It's really great for like before a chest workout or back workout. So then you go to a, a open the car door like this. You go into external rotation. Forearm stays vertical on both planes. So it's not this way, it's not this way. Okay. So you've got the press down, you got the timing. Then what you're gonna do is bring this out, contract the lat, like someone's trying to pull your arm away and you don't let it pull away. And then from here, you hip hinge and it's tricep extension, lat activation. And it's this, which is now a bent press. So bent press, here, okay, here, 100%, come back to about 80, make up the rest with rib cage, thoracic rotation, and then from here it's hip hinge, here. Anyway, I'm doing this as I'm getting ready for my SFG level two. It's a kettlebell certification, I have a level one. We do a lot of kettlebell stuff in the clinic, so I wanna make sure I put my money where my mouth is, know what I'm doing, and it's a hard certification. You have to be able to do a lot of double kettlebell work with it. Um, you have to be able to press half your body weight. I weigh about 204 right now, so I have to press a beast, probably, probably the 106, which I've never done before, never single arm press 106. Anyway, again, if you haven't already, grab the book, Move All Secrets, and you can get it at moveawayuniversity.com slash book. Comment below, share, question, whatever. But this, this fits into our chiropractic model. I'm gonna go in and see patients a little bit, my staff's gonna call me in one minute, and I still gotta shower and get to the clinic. That's my problem I gotta work on as I cut it to the last minute. But that's how you squeeze so much stuff in a day. You just gotta get it done. Don't procrastinate. Anyway, have a great day, have a great week. I gotta get going. Grab the book, comment, like, share, whatever you do, over and out.